it is something that Ben and I both researched. Like this is the thing we researched more than anything when it comes to baby. <laughs> welcome back to my channel today's video is baby shower haul part one so if you haven't seen I shared all the details of my baby shower in my last video so I'll be sure to link that above for you guys if you're interested and I said that I was planning to do a two-part haul from my shower so the first which is today it's gonna be like the bigger gear like items and then the second haul will be some of the smaller stuff like clothes and like the little fun things like that. So if you're curious about what kind of gear I registered for and received, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna quickly touch on the crib and the dresser because those are pretty much, besides I guess the stroller and the car seat, the two biggest items that we registered for. We did receive them as baby shower gifts, but we got them quite a while ago sent to our house. So I have talked about them before I think in the nursery design plans video I told you guys what we were using but just in case you haven't seen that I'll touch on them really quick so both the dresser and the crib that we registered for are by Delta children I will be sure to link them down below along with everything else I mentioned they can be found on Amazon we just got a white crib and a white dresser obviously I can't like <laughs> show you the dresser and the crib in my hand. I'll insert a clip of the dresser because that has been built and the crib might be done by the time I film this. So if it is, I'll insert a clip as well. If not, I'll just show you guys a picture. But those are like the biggest items we received for our baby shower. We just didn't receive them at the baby shower. And then the second other item that was really big that we received beforehand, although we still haven't taken out of the box and we really need to, is our stroller and car seat. So we decided to go for a travel system. I know some people prefer travel systems. Some people just want to get an infant car seat right away because you are going to have to upgrade the car seat as the babies get bigger. But we decided for us that a travel system was the way we wanted to go. So the travel system we decided to go with, I'm reading it because I forget what it's called, is the Brit Tax 2017 Be Agile and Be Safe 35 travel system. So it is the stroller and the car seat. I'll insert a picture because again, I don't have it here to show you. We did a lot of research on which ones we wanted. Ben is very, likes tech and like gear type things. So he, this was one of the things he really looked into and this was the one that we decided we thought would be best for us. So depending on how I feel about it, whether I really, really like it or maybe if I really, really don't like it, maybe I'll do a full review on the travel system once we've had time to use it. We'll just have to see. If it's like so-so, then I probably won't, but if I feel really strongly about it one way or another, then maybe I will. That is one of our big to-dos for the next week or so is getting the car seat installed. And with this car seat, you can get an extra base, which we're gonna do so we can have a base installed in both of our cars and then just switch the car seat back and forth as we need to. One other big thing I just remembered that we got earlier that you guys have seen that I don't have here again to show you is our rocking chair. We got the Windsor Glider and Ottoman gray and white. I'll show you guys a clip of that as well. It's definitely one of the lesser expensive options, but so far I really, really, really like it. Obviously we'll have to see how it holds up over time, but for now I'm really happy with it. And then one other thing that I wanted to haul for you guys that's gear. I don't know why I do this every time, but it just, I don't know if that's gear is the right word, that I don't actually have here to show you is our high chair. So the high chair that we got is the Ingenuity Smart Clean Trio 3-in-1 high chair. And I wound up just keeping this at my parents' house because our storage here is really limited and I know that he's not gonna be using it for potentially like six months. So I just left it there at their house. But the reason that I registered for this one in particular, there's a few reasons. The first is because there is no fabric on it. So like the chair itself, a lot of high chairs, the chair itself is fabric. And that just like gets messy really quick. And so I wanted one that could be easily wiped down. And so this one can be. And then also it's a three in one. So it's really nice because it can be like a full high chair. It can be like a little high chair that you like strap to a chair, which I've seen people buy those separately. So it's nice to have that built in. And then also turns it into like a toddler seat. So I think that this one's gonna be one that we get a lot of use out of 
as he grows up, which is nice. And so now for a few gear items that I can actually show you guys because I have them here is this one is a very, 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 very recommended item. And it is the Everything Stolen Boxes. We haven't opened them yet. The Fisher Price Rock and Play. So ours is like this geometric pattern. Sorry about my ring light like giving you a glare, but it's this geometric pattern. And here it is on the back, you can see. Like that, it's just your basic rock and play sleeper lounger, all of that. We got the one that vibrates versus rocking because we also have a swing that my sister gave us as like a hand-me-down. So that swings and rocks. So I wanted to have something that was a little bit different in case he doesn't like to swing and rock, which I'm sure he will, but I wanted to go with the one that vibrates. And then you can rock it by hand, but this one doesn't actually like rock on its own, but it vibrates if that makes sense. So this we plan to use a lot during the day and like evenings when we're out on the couch and have him like set up in this little nook area where we have by our couch to blow, plop him in. I'm sure he'll do some napping in this. I definitely think that we're gonna get a ton of use out of this because like I said, the rock and play is probably the thing that was recommended the most to me from moms. This one also has like the strap where you can put little toys so as he gets bigger and more alert and wants to play, it's a good place to put him down when I need to get something done or whatever, not necessarily just when he's like napping or relaxing. And then speaking of play, I have two other things that he can kind of play on, sit up with. This is another one where as he gets bigger, I can put him when we kind of need to have him in a place, I don't know. It's the Fisher Price Sit Me Up floor seat so it's like the little frog one which again this one is like one of the highest rated items on Amazon for baby stuff the reviews are great people really really like it so it's just a cute little seat for him to hang out in as he gets bigger and can sit up it has little toys it's really soft and plush super comfy easy to fold up I like that because again storage is storage is pretty limited in our house and yeah so that's another one of our gear items and then another thing for him to play on gear wise is this little tummy time play mat so it's one that as he's doing tummy time and as he can start lifting his head up he can hang out on on his belly it has like all these little pillow areas it has mirrors you can attach various toys to it and stuff so it's just another thing to keep him entertained just other ways to uh, stimulate him and help him learn and apparently it has like a toy with that crinkle material on it, which is, I know babies really like that. And like various toys, it has a whole bunch of stuff. There's like mirrors, rattles, satin tags, toys, no slip tummy time pillow. So this is a good thing before he graduates to like a bigger play mat. We also did get one of those bigger like foam play mats for as he gets bigger and starts crawling around, we can put together and he can play in and if we need to, we can gate that area. So I kind of, I think I'll probably just set that up now, but we got that in anticipation of when he's a little bit bigger. And so that's it for like the big items that we got at the baby shower. Like I said, we have a swing that we got as a hand-me-down that we also plan to use and I thought I'd touch really quickly on sleep because I know a lot of people use the rock and play for sleep. We are not planning on doing that. We actually got the Snoo bassinet for sleep. So let me just pop in a disclaimer because I know people feel very strongly about bassinets, which is fine. So before you comment and tell me that your baby hated a bassinet or bassinets aren't good or you should use the rock and play, research the snoo or make sure you know what the snoo is before saying that because the snoo is like a very fancy bassinet we'll say we went back and forth about getting this it's the one baby item that we really really splurged on because it is not cheap but we got it on a really good sale which was what decided to push us to do it and it is something that ben and i both researched like this is the thing we researched more than anything when it comes to baby because sleep is so important and it's the thing that's so hard for so many parents and so many babies and we really wanted to select the best option and for us we felt like the snoo was going to be it so that's what we have just quick rundown if you're unfamiliar with it it's basically a really fancy bassinet that has like a built-in sound machine a built-in 
rocking movement. It has various levels of movement. Uh, it responds to baby's cries, so it kicks in automatically. It can be run by an app. There's a whole bunch of fancy features. It's also the safest sleep option on the market because it does not allow the baby to roll over in their sleep or suffocate, which was a big, big reason why we got it because we know that we're gonna be kind of paranoid parents and anything that can help ease our minds as first time parents is huge. It also has a weaning feature to help you wean the baby from the bassinet to the crib. So that is what we are using for sleep. I know it's very expensive, but like I said, it's the one thing that we decided to splurge on. We think it's gonna work best for us. So that being said, this is something because it is such a high priced item and there is so much hype about it and the reviews seem like too good to be true. I will be doing a full review on the Snoo once we've had time to really see how we like it. So that was the biggest gear item we got. Wasn't baby shower, but I wanted to touch on it because I had a feeling some people might ask what we're doing for sleep. And so that's gonna be it for this part one of the baby shower haul. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss part two. I have a lot of cute clothes to show you and some other fun things that I got for the baby. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love it one way or the another, the another. And so that's it for like the big gear. I don't know why I'm still doing that.